sometimes these emergent phenomena cause problems that we sometimes are not even aware of. And these are called lock-ins and it's very difficult to get out of a lock-in. One of the standard examples of a lock-in is the keyboard that you are using. It's very likely that at this moment you are using the so-called QWERTY keyboard. But have you ever thought why you are typing on a QWERTY type board? What's the use of it? Somebody has actually thought about this, right? What was the idea behind the QWERTY keyboard? Well, in the next picture you see a very old typewriter. And what you see was that the letters were being printed through a hammering system. Now the problem is, if you use certain letters in combination and they are close together, the hammers can be jammed up. And to avoid that problem, they invented a keyboard layout that made sure that the letters that you used most in combination were at the largest distance on the keyboard. Problem solved. But why do we still use this keyboard? Because this problem is apparently not relevant for computers nowadays. And we still use this old-fashioned type of keyboard which is far from optimal from typing speed. Now, that's because it's a lock-in. Everybody uses a QWERTY. You're being raised at home with using a QWERTY keyboard and probably you will teach your children in the future to use a QWERTY keyboard.